So let's say I want to put these integers into ascending order. So we just need to get used to the language here. So remember, integers, these are all examples of integers. So integers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. But we also include 0, and we also include the negative counting numbers, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So all of these are integers, OK? And of course, they continue forever in both directions. So if we want to put these numbers into ascending order, we want to go from the smallest to the largest. OK? So if you like, you can always draw out a number line to help you when you do this. Minus 6 is going to come first, so let's just circle what we've got. There's minus 6. We've got 3. We've got 5. We've got minus 9. We've got 0. And we've got minus 7. So conveniently, that's actually put them in order. So from the smallest, minus 9, then minus 7, then minus 6, then 0, then 3, then 5. OK, so from the smallest up to the largest. And we're going to be going through a couple of videos now where we go through some more examples of putting integers into either ascending order or descending order.